We've known for years that obesity is a killer, but it turns out we haven't been considering the whole picture. Until now, researchers have always looked at obesity at a single point in time and to determine risk for cancer and other diseases. But I just came across a new study that shows it's not just your current weight that should concern you, it's how your weight has changed over time. The aim of this study was to see how changes in weight affected obesity-related cancer risk. And the researchers found that year-to-year -year weight gain adds up in more ways than one. In fact, according to the study, moving from normal weight to obese during adulthood increased risk for obesity-related cancers by 17%. It's similar to how we look at smoking, if you think about it. Your doctor just doesn't ask whether you smoke. They ask how much you smoke, how long you've smoked, and if you've ever used to smoke. That's because we know tobacco-related cancer takes many years to develop. Now we know it's the same with obesity. If your weight has been creeping up a few pounds a year, this study should give you serious pause. Those pounds are adding up to no good literally and figuratively. The good news is this is something that's entirely within your control. And with all the exciting new breakthroughs in weight loss science, it's never been easier to shed those excess pounds, no matter how long you've been carrying them around. I'll tell you how to put these breakthroughs to work for you with detailed, step-by-step, -step, individualized advice in my new book, The A-List Diet. So if you haven't read it yet, do yourself and your waistline a favor and pick up a copy today by visiting alistdietbook.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Fred.